Hello, I'm Next from the Outbreak Gaming Minecraft server, and this week I'm filming live from the Floating Chrononaut City Triarch. This week I'm going to be showing you how to make and use signs from Craftbook and Essentials plugins. All of the signs seen here are usable on Outbreak Gaming Minecraft server, the IP of which is in the description below. So, let's get started. First off, I'm going to be showing you how to make some lift signs. Now these are quite easy to make, you just put uh, a sign up down here and you put in the direction where you want to go so this one will be lift up uh, like that and we go directly up and it has to be the block directly above it and you just put in lift down like that and you should be able to instantaneously jump from one point in the column up and down like that very very useful very easy to learn how to do now, if you want to uh, to make it one way, what you do is you just you don't put a direction on it, so you just put lift in square brackets, like so. So on the second line, like that. And if you look, cannot depart from this lift; can only arrive. So you can only go down. If we go up here and hit that, and it's a right click, by the way, that you use to activate the signs. Some of the signs here can be um, activated with redstone. So, Moving on to gate signs now. Uh, gate signs are very useful. It does what it says on the tin, basically. It makes a uh, toggle toggleable gate. On the second line, you just put gate like that. Pretty easy. Not much to it. And you just fill it up with fences. Now, you can use other materials, but I'm just using fences right now, because why not? And you, know, you just fill it up like that, whatever area that you need the gate to be in, and you right click it, and there you go, so it retracts the gate like that. Now, on the first line of the sign, it will show the, um, the ID number of the material, and the fourth line will show how much of it is stored in the sign. So, there we go. Now, you can also use uh, nether brick fences like that, glass panes, which I think sound a bit like a boy band, emo boy band and metal gates as well can also be used which sounds a bit like a torture technique so moving on to uh, teleporter signs now these are pretty very useful um, you can just use them to instantaneously jump from one place to the other uh, which is pretty useful of course if you uh, if you need to um, so you need a receiver node and a sender node, so I'm putting the receiver node here and I'm just putting teleporter in square brackets on the second line, like that. Now you just need to remember what the coordinates of that are, because you're going to be using them on the sender node. So I've just made a mental note of that, and I'm just going to put the sender node here. So on the second line you put teleporter and on the third line you put the coordinates. Now you put X in first which was 693 and you put colon and the Y one which is 45 and you put the another colon and the Z one. Now, now this should be instantaneous travel from the sender node to the receiver. Now you see that, what, that didn't work and there's a reason for that and basically what you have to do is you always round down the coordinates so you always round down uh, if it's a decimal place you always round it down um, if it's a negative one you round it so that it's more negative so minus six, 1795 would be minus 1796 basically um, yeah so I'll just put those in now And there we go, instantaneous travel from one point to the other, which is very useful for long distances. You can just cut straight through stuff, basically. So there we go, we can jump right from bromancing in the stone to the UK's answer to American Pie. Oh, and uh, with teleporter signs, they can't uh, go between dimensions, so you can't, for instance, take one from the end to the nether or whatever. Here we are in the marketplace, very nice. So yeah, as you see over there, it's um, 
it, it's a bit laggy sometimes with the travel. Right, so for trade signs, you put trade in the in square brackets on the first line, like so. On the second line, you put in the price of each item, which in this case is going to be $50. And on the second line, you put in the quantity uh, of what you're selling for $50 and the ID number for it. And next, you're putting in how much of it you're storing in the sign. In this case, I'm going to be selling blaze rods because, hey, who doesn't want to be a rod merchant? Um, and I've got 64 of them, so that's how much I'm putting into the sign. Like that. There you go. Instant dildo merchant. Now, you can store XP in signs and diamonds, which you can use to protect your stuff if your server that you play on protects the signs. Uh, and you can also jack the price up on it so nobody uh, steals them. Moving on then. Yeah, and to collect money or to buy from it, you just, um, it's right click again. So, nothing to collect from this one. Right, so then, as I said, it is a bit, uh, laggy, the teleportation. Now, say you want to get, uh, from this island over to that one, because, say, somebody owes you money and you're gonna go bust their kneecaps. Uh, you could jump, but it is a bit of a gap and you might miss. Uh, what you could do instead is use bridge signs, and they're pretty useful and they're pretty easy to set up. And you just toggle it like that, and there you go. You just have uh, an instant bridge jumps out of the sign, like so, which you can cross with some ease, rather than having to jump and miss and face plant the ground. Now, to retract it, what you do is you um, you just right click it. That's how you activate it as well, um, like so. Oh, I'm a bit of technical difficulties, uh, but yeah. So, um, so the 75 on the top shows how many blocks are stored in that sign, in that bridge sign. In this case, it's 75 uh, blocks are stored in it. Um, now, only certain kinds of blocks can be used um, to make bridge signs, to make bridges, uh, and I think it's just cobble. Uh, dirt and wood planks, but I I'm sure there's a lot more that you can use. Uh, now, how to? This is how you make it. You um, you start off with your bit of material, and it has to be free wide. That's that's just the amount that it is. And on the second line, you're going to write a uh, bridge in square brackets like so, and go on the other side like this, and put bridge on the second line again, like that. Bridge, bridge, in square brackets, second line. Like that, and there you go, you can toggle it, and again it shows at the top player how many blocks are stored in it, in the sign. And you can only activate it from whichever one has the numbers on the sign. So, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on the Twitters, visit us at Outbreak Gaming Minecraft Server, IP is in the description below, all the links to the social media are in the description below as well. Uh, thanks for watching, and... Hopefully we'll see you next week.